Good day, everyone. We received last night a Christmas gift, a little later than the previous Christmas. What about a foot of snow here? And you look around at the beauty and wonder of creation. You guys live here all the time. Some of us don't. We don't get to see things like this. So uh, I found it quite interesting that uh, it didn't snow in the practice field. <laughs> God loves football, too. So if you're, uh, if you're a football fan, you have company. It's a great seat. If you're not buying that, if you're not buying that I'd like to thank uh, our grounds crew that you see out there. I mean, Brooks Dobson and his guys have been here working and working and working. And I'm excited to get out there and practice on this field today. But, uh, you're probably surprised when you saw that. There's a lot of piles, just like the pile where my, at the hotel where my car is right now. I, thought, I, want, to, I want to thank Trooper, Trooper Emeritus Jess Leba for rescuing me this morning and getting me here. So uh, I also want to compliment our players and our staff and everybody in the building because these are extraordinary circumstances. This one snuck up on me. Perhaps it didn't everyone else. But uh, everybody got here. We're, we operated on a normal schedule this morning without incident. And, uh, we told everybody to take care and be safe and take care of each other, and, and uh, we got here and we were rolling, and I'm, I'm really grateful for that. Yesterday was, there was a lot going on, obviously, and uh, I'm thankful for you all being here. You may have some more questions about things that we didn't get to yesterday, and, and I would ask for uh, your plate assistance that those that didn't get an opportunity, that I would like to get those people involved, too, because I, I humbly say I don't know you all. Perhaps I should, but... There's a lot of things that I don't know at this time, so I'd like to get everybody involved as we get to that part of the procedure. But I, I do want to compliment our players. I really appreciate the efforts they put in yesterday uh, under challenging circumstances, I would say. There's a lot going on in their lives, too. Uh, change brings challenges. Change also brings opportunities. The coaches, the coordinators, and their leadership, Azro with his group, and J.O. and Clint with his group, and Mike Mallory I mentioned yesterday about what a great job he's done with me in trying to get our special teams realigned. I'm very grateful for their efforts and their attitudes. Um, today is a, another day that we aspire. Someone asked me an aspirational question yesterday. I'm not sure who that was, but today we aspire to have another really productive day. We've got a serious gap we have to close. I mean, our opponent is, is clearly ahead of us. I mean, they've they haven't gone through what we have gone through. And so we need to close that gap. And real frankly, I need to close that gap. I'm trying to bring myself up to speed. I don't know this Kansas City team like I would if I'd been coaching against them. I would know everything. But I don't know this team inside and out like I need to. And so I'm trying to catch up as well. And I appreciate those guys that are helping me. But the clock is ticking. So this much I know, they're not waiting for us. This, this league waits for no one. It, it rolls on. So we're going to need to have a really good practice today to close that gap. Their roster is littered with stars. You, you look, I mentioned yesterday, with Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey and Orlando Brown and offense and, and all those guys. And there's defense with I mean, incredible playmakers up front with Chris Jones and Frank Clark and all their DBs that seem to all have similar skills and they're well coached and they you watch their tape that I've been able to watch on offense and defense I mean this is a this is a crew that shows up on sports center nightly and uh, and those for those of you that probably many of you because that's a business you're in you sh shows up on social media I'm told I, I don't live there but I mean this is this is a, a rock star crew and they're specialists too I Tommy and Harrison and James, this is a top-rated group, and there are two great returners, and there's two different phases. McCole, I mean, you've you've all watched him. What a I loved him coming out in the draft. Unfortunately, he went to Kansas City and not Baltimore. But uh, super great coach with Dave Tobe. They, this this is a challenge. This is really a challenge. So we like challenges around here. I mean, I think the people of Colorado can appreciate when you're coming out here, you have challenges getting to work, you have challenges climbing the incline, you got challenges going hiking, but it, it's invigorating when you do that. When you get back, you feel better about yourself because you put yourself 
You've strained yourself. You've ventured into chaos a little bit. It's easy to stay at home, but we have no plans on doing that. So uh, with that, I'd uh, ask you to politely direct your questions for those that didn't get an opportunity yesterday, and, and then we'll proceed from there. Thank you. Yes, sir. What I've seen from Montreal is a young man that's got a lot of skill. He's a very talented young man. My aspiration, I aspire. Who asked the aspiration question yesterday? There you go. Okay. That's kind of a theme right now. So I, I aspire to help him get better. If he needs work on fundamentals that we're we're working on now. We're going to have a good drill today that's really centered around he and the other returners. And we're going to try to put him in a position that he can use his skills as they fit into our return plan. What, are, what is your philosophy on uh, putting the pads on for practice? <clears throat> uh, I like football practice. I like football practice. And we're going to have pads on today. And we're allowed to have pads on today. We have a padded practice remaining. And I address this with the team directly. And what did we needed to do this week to try to compete with this formidable opponent? And it's important to me that I see these guys in pads. I mean, as you know, I haven't been doing that as my previous position in this organization. So I need to see this. I need to see these guys. And I'm, I'm paying a lot closer attention to these things this week than I have been. So that's as much for me as anyone. And, and our the young men in that room have bought into that, and they've. They're, they're going to go out there today with the express purpose of getting better. And they also are going out there with a clear understanding of how we take care of one another during practice. So those are our two goals in that, in that regard. Two, two part question. Did you, did you change the way practice works in any substantial way in the second part? You said you got here yesterday with Grinnell Park, working with tight ends and offensive lines. That where you plan to spend you know, most, of the, most of the week. Uh, the first part, the first part of your question was with regard to practice. We changed some the order of things. We didn't change the, the structure. Maybe special teams was is uh, conducted a little bit differently. Uh, it's all together at the top, and you probably you're out here, and, and we just worked with, uh, we kind of rearranged it what I was familiar with and comfortable with with regard to the special teams doing it early, and so I could focus at that point. I could turn my focus to the offense and defense. Uh, the rest of the practice is very similar, the, the structure that's been going on here. I want, I want all the work that these men and these coaches have put in during the course of this whole season to continue. I don't want to disrupt that, but I did upend that part of it. Um, and your, your other part of your question was me. The tight ends. Oh, black, the tight ends. Yeah, I, just, I was seeking out a little contact. I, uh, it's been a while, and uh, tight ends are really important to our run game. And uh, I went and watched the quarterbacks for a while, and... Yeah, I kind of bounce around. The beauty of this position now is I can pretty much do whatever I want, you know. So I'm I'm doing whatever I want. I'm sorry, I heard a tracker. Play calling on offense. Well, we've got a lot of great coaches on offense, and I've been up in the box with J.O. calling plays, and I've been up in the box with Clint calling plays, and they're both they're they're with with J.O. communicating with Nate, <clears throat> and I've. Uh, we got a lot of talented coaches, and that the whole offensive structure, as you can imagine, has changed a little bit because Nathaniel was so incredibly involved in our offense, and now so with in his absence, we've had to kind of reorganize and go forward that way. But uh, we're going to determine who's uh, coach, who's calling the plays. We have determined that. Uh, I I see no real good reason to help Coach Reed with any of those things. So. We'll just keep that close to the vest, and we'll see who shows up on Saturday, uh, or excuse me, on Sunday, calling those plays. But we got really good coaches on offense, and I trust these guys. And you know, could be Clint can, should, could continue, and Jo could can, could jump in there. Or I listened, just le listened to Jake Moreland run a meeting, and I was very impressed. He's very clear and confident, and, and uh, maybe Zach Grossi. He's you know he's he likes football, so maybe I'll call a play in it. I, I know. I'm, this this is my chance, right? I can do whatever I want. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll call a player too to, to enhance my resume, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Pardon? I think I can answer that question fairly. Yes. Yeah. There's there's a full disclosure. Sorry, sorry, Alex mentioned yesterday that you guys 
yesterday, you were housing, you mentioned, you were in the special teams meeting, uh, letting Mike Mallory run it, but offering your input. So as you kind of, I know you've been focused on game management, but kind of as a special teams coach, what's kind of gone wrong and what can be fixed here on teams in the next 10 days? I think I said yesterday that I was going to jump in the middle of special teams, and that's what I've done. And I think I also complimented Mike Mallory on his ability to adjust to that because we've we spent a lot of good time together over the last few days and we're trying to improve the special teams because I think you all would agree it needed work. So I'm providing Mike and the players with my view on things and Mike is doing all the, the dirty work. He's drawing up the schemes and he's dealing with the depth charts and he's organizing the practices and he's doing that and then then I go and do my thing because I can. You, uh, you spoke yesterday about Jero and, and his uh, <coughs> decision not to yes. be there. What qualities do you see from him that at some point would make him a good head coach in this league? Yeah, he's a brilliant man. I mean, I, I've i gotten to know him since my time here, and he's been very gracious to me from the very first day. And his communication skills are of, of a high level. He's really good. And dealing with his coaches and dealing with his players, he has leadership skills. He's not afraid to tell a coach what he thinks, and that's his job. He needs to tell the truth to these guys and, and also his players. He's, he deals with them directly, and uh, he has a certain level of performance that he expects, and uh, he's going to keep them to that. And those kind of coaches, to me, have, have a high ceiling because uh, there's a lot of different ways to do things, and you, when you sit down in your beliefs and you want it to be a certain way, then you're open to other ideas. But when we make a decision that this is the way it's going to be, well, then this is the way it's going to be. And he's, uh, he's got all those qualities. On Sunday for during the game? I'm, I'm scared. You, have you asked a question yet? Uh, not today. Well, OK. Mike, is that your second question? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> okay. That's what I thought. I was going to hog. <laughs> sure. <laughs> How am I handling the catching up? Well, I'm spending a lot of time here with a lot of good people. They're helping me. I mean, Derek Haythcock, the assistant that I've been, uh, has been working with, with Nathaniel and is now my assistant, has been tremendous. He guides me and where I need to go and what I need to do, but he also helps me formulate the, that which I'm bringing to the team. And uh, he's been great. Um, other than that, I'm just grinding, real frankly. It's, uh, it's, it's joyful, joyful work, I would say. That's what it is. I enjoy this. And uh, so it's, I'm a football coach, you know. I, I used to work road construction. This is better. Yes, my, yes, my, last, last one, Mike. Uh, so Sunday in the game, you're going to be, uh, tell us how you're going to do it. You know, the, you're going to have the headsets. Yeah, involved yeah. With everyone, put your two sets with everyone, but the coordinators kind of handle their phase, and That's, you oversee the whole operation. You know, if I had knew, if I had known there was being such a high quality question, I would have called on you earlier. <laughs> That's a really good question because I was doing game management when I was up there and being able to see everything and listen to my colleague Brad and listen to my colleague Mark, and we can discuss decisions and what's coming down the road here and and uh, I really enjoyed that but it's going to be different now because I'm going to be on the boundary but I'm going to have Brad and Mark in my ear and they're going to do they're going to pick up the, the load from up top and provide me with guidance and those decisions I'll continue to make those decisions obviously I, will, I won't be um, up there with them as we do this so they're going to that that's another area real frankly we need to catch up because we haven't practiced yet and uh, there's it's something our communication needs to be crystal clear. And with regard to the offense and the defense, Ajaro has demonstrated with our defense that he knows what he's doing. And I've spent more time with the offense. I think I expounded upon that yesterday. So I'm going to let Ajaro do his business. I'm going to try to help him any way I can. And I'm going to provide him assistance in the management of defense, just like I have been doing with regard to the offense and our offensive coaches. Very much the same. 
Um, there's more things going on, as I mentioned yesterday, with regard to game management, so I'm going to try to give them a heads up to what's down the road here and then provide them assistance with decision making. But um, J.O. and Clint are running that show, and I'm, I'm there to assist in any way possible. And I've been, I've been depending on them ever since this happened, so it, it's not going to be any different on Sunday. Um, they're, they're doing that. I'm here to help. I want to thank you all for being here, and I appreciate your patience with me, and uh, have a great day. It's a beautiful day. Enjoy. Thank you.